got the real deal now. Gonna kick this sorry ass out on the street. Is that what you got? Used to think you own the street. Look out the bag and your ass is dead meat. Victory is sweet. That's right. It's WrestleMania. It's here, guys. A couple days away. Woo. But first, it's time for your favorite Thursday night podcast, The Lowdown Show. Welcome, guys, to another episode of The Lowdown Show on the Hold Part Wrestling Podcast, the weekly episodic podcast where me and my co host review and discuss Raw and SmackDown from the past week, and as well as any important news in the WWE. And our segment, WWE Polls, which is quickly becoming popular as the votes were increased this week. And again, if you guys know a popular name or a funny name for this segment, just feel free to drop a comment and let us know, and we'll change it to that. Um, so for now, we're going to generically name it WB Polls. Um, <laughs> I'm your host, Kyle Masters, as always. You can follow me on Twitter, at RealKyleMasters. I'm joined by my co-host, The Boss, Mr. Corporate himself, Corporate Cappy. Yep, showing big strength, you know. You can follow him at Twitter on Twitter, <laughs> at Corporate Cappy. Uh, how you doing today, Brandon? I mean, WrestleMania is like three days I away. If I, if I wasn't so tired, I would, I'm pretty jacked right now. Wait for Sunday. I know. Sunday's going to be like Red Bull High Central. Like, oh I'm going to be I'm gonna be so ecstatic for WrestleMania. Yeah. Anyways, guys, you can follow the podcast on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to us on YouTube. All the links will be in the description below. Thanks for tuning in to your favorite Thursday Night WWE podcast live on Spreaker Radio at Spreaker.com slash NHBWP. If you would like to join in on the conversation and share your thoughts or questions about Raw and SmackDown from the weeks past, tweet at us at NoHoldsBarWP and use the hashtag TheLowdownShow or leave a comment in the, video, in the video on the YouTube channel in the comments section below. Without further ado, guys, let's get into it. Holy crap, this was probably the best Raw I've seen in a while. The one a couple weeks ago was really good, but... This, this one, one was yeah. a good go-home show. I was literally expecting it to be shit from the last week's Raw. <laughs> was just terrible. <laughs> but then you go and take a look at it's in Brooklyn. Brooklyn always gets a good Raw. Like yep. they, they've gotten, like, the best Raws, like, ever. Like, ever since they've they've going to, been going to Raw at the Barclay Center. Yep. Like, The Rock was returning against Rusev that one time. Yep. And just it just seems like New York always gets a good Raw well, or even SmackDown. The way it opened, I mean, how could you not get excited about that? <laughs> yeah, Undertaker. Like, the first, right after Michael Cole is done doing his, Welcome to Monday Night Raw spiel, you get the dong and Taker coming out. Crowd going ballistic. Like, what a way to start Raw. Mm-hmm. And you got Undertaker in the ring, like, just talking about, you know, g- g- generic Undertaker stuff. You know, he's going to go talk about his legacy, uh, WrestleMania, what he's got to do. And he said uh, that Shane's blood will be on his hands, or on Vince's hands, but Taker's going to have... Vince's blood on okay. I j- I'm not sure how to go with that. I mean, yeah, exactly. I okay, take her obsessed with people's blood. I um, th- I had some doubts about this match. Um, but now it looks way more intense just because what yeah. happened on Raw. I mean, the potent this has potential to be main event all over it. I think it will be the main event to be honest. Like even tr- we even saw and uh, it was like a week ago. Triple H even said that his match shouldn't even be the main event. Which is unreal. Like coming from Triple H, that's that's crazy. Yeah, this guy always wants to be in the spotlight. Yeah, but he says that Shane and Undertaker's match is just way more exciting. I mean, look what happened on Raw. You had when Shane came out and like basically dissed the Undertaker's legacy, like <laughs> saying like, uh, "If I have to destroy your legacy for mine to continue, so be it." <laughs> Undertaker comes back with, "Listen here, rich boy." You better keep your mouth shut. Yeah. <laughs> That's why Taker should have just been American badass Taker for this. Yeah. But and it, it would have made sense. But then, like when Shane got into the ring and he's like, "You're," then he starts chirping Taker like, "Your legacy died two years yeah. ago." And, oh <laughs> man, <laughs> he, he dropped that chirp. line. I'm like, God, Shane, that was gutty as hell. Especially when you're face to face with the dead man in the ring. Like, yep. oh man, Shane, <laughs> you you really knocked on the devil's door right there. <laughs> He said he, he, you're your daddy's bitch. Yeah, and he ever could, yeah, Taker born. comes back. like, ever since you were born, you've been your daddy's bitch. And that just continues. Um, oh, my God. Just Then you guys, they, they start brawling. And they start brawling all over the arena. And we had uh, Taker kind of set up the table for a last ride. And then Shane reverses it. And I, I saw reversal all over this. Like I, I didn't see a last ride at all. Right? I mean, I'm like, this is too a little bit too early. And Shane reverses it. 
and uh, pushes Undertaker onto the table and hits him in the head with that monitor. <laughs> and it caught him in the eye, I think, because Taker's eye was bleeding a little bit. So yeah, it some, was some part of the monitor must have caught him in the in the corner of the eye. Yeah. Um, then we had uh, Shane get up to the top rope while Taker's light on the table and gives an elbow drop, the leap of faith elbow drop. Went nuts. When oh my happened. god! I man. mean, he, he barely touched him, but still, it was still actually really cool. actually if you go and see, um, I I thought he barely touched him too until I went on Twitter and looked. Some people slowed down and found like good camera angles. He actually hit him Did dead he? middle of the chest. Bam. Did he? His elbow dropped right in the I middle of his chest. I thought he got him in like the end of the No, shoulder. he got him right in the middle of his chest. Wow. That's nuts. Good. What a spot. Way to take. What a good spot for Taker a, to take. What a way to start Raw. I mean, Undertaker then sits up like after, yeah, too. Shane that was, was crazy. Ramp, yeah. Does, does his classic throat down. slash and this, Shane's pointing yeah. at the WrestleMania side. Thank, thank God they had this because the last couple segments they've had have been like watching paint dry. It was bad. Yeah. I mean, I think it's going to be the main event. I think it I'm, is too. I'm, and I think there's be, gonna be some kind of swerve in this match. This WrestleMania is gonna be insane because this this match, I can't even pick who's the clear cut winner of this match. I can't pick a winner. Like I'm gonna wait till Sunday to pick a winner here. Not because I want to look at the dirt sheets, because I can't literally cannot decide. Even right now, looking at this, I can't decide who's gonna win. I, I, I'm torn apart because Taker's my boy. I've loved Taker for forever. Then you got like Shane and like, oh maybe they'll make Shane win. Like I can't tell. I don't know. I think we're going to get swerved somehow, and that's what I like. I like the. Uh, we can't predict it yeah. like we can with the world title match. I just love how they ended the segment, and yeah. like the last thing we see is both of them ending off strong. Like the elbow drop from Shane, and then the, 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 the taker up. sitting up. So none of them look weak heading into their match. That was perfectly done by yeah. WWE. Perfect. Really, really I couldn't have asked start. for anything better. Yeah. Um, something smells like it's going to be really. Something's going to be really crazy. And like there's going to be like a top of the. I, if there's a top of the cell jer- jump by Shane, man, I'm gonna be <laughs> cringing and like holding my yeah. breath. Or like, there's gonna be a spot like something or like Taker that. Will do the McFoley and throw Shane throw off. Throw Shane thing. off. Oh man. Ugh. Uh, I mean, uh, like, when was the last time they went to the top of the cell? You like, they've had cell in the cell matches, but they haven't gone to the top in a while. I'm trying to remember. I think they. I want to say Taker and CM Punk. No, wait, they never had a Hell in a Cell match. I, think I was going to say Ryback and CM Punk. I don't think they escaped a the cell, though. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember. Yeah. If you guys know out there, leave us a comment. Because I can't, I can't, I, for life of me, I can't remember right now. Didn't Ambrose climb do it one time? I think so. It kind of, it, that screams Ambrose all over it. But, like, Shane did mention in the promo on Raw, if I have to drag my carcass to Raw, like, that maybe that's, like, hinting at something huge is going to happen in this match. I, I yeah, I'm gonna we be holding my breath. I'll be cringing. Yeah. Yes. Um. Will there be run-ins? And if so, who? Yeah, <laughs> like Mick Foley got the Rock there. You got HBK, Vince, Triple H, Roman. They could turn him heel. Like, there's so many possibilities for this match. Just oh, don't count with Seth Rollins either. Or don't get yeah, Seth Rollins. Yep. But what if like what if like Vince and Shane are in cahoots? It wouldn't be shocking. But what if Taker ends up winning? Does, does that mean, like, Vince and Shane are going to, like... Or what if Shane wins and they control Raw? And does Steph and Triple H go and control SmackDown? You have, the like, the authority on SmackDown. And you got, like, Vince and Shane on Raw. That, again, uh, the, the possibilities are endless for, for this match. That's what... And I'm, I'm loving because, what is it, like two months ago, or two or three months ago, we thought this was going to be a crappy WrestleMania because of Braun all the injuries. Braun Strowman versus The Undertaker. Yeah, we thought it was going to be Braun Strowman versus The Undertaker. <laughs> like, we just thought this was going to be a really dead WrestleMania where we were like, oh shit, because this is going to be like their highest attendance record ever, and they're going to have a crappy card. But they did such a good job to make it better. Like, holy crap. It just shows you like the WWE creative team and how... How insane they they can put something together in at least amount of when time. When they try, when, when they, they try to too, put yeah. Together, they don't put, put that out there when they try. Smackdown matches. Yeah, right. but moving on, guys, to the next part of Raw. We had Chris, the Chris Jericho and Y two J. This was pretty funny. <laughs> I just want to start off to start this whole thing off, but my boy Zack Ryder picking up the win oh God. on Chris Jericho. How do you call that a win? I love it, Michael. I love no, it. I don't love it, Michael. How do you call it a win? Because AJ Styles it roll came up, down. roll up to roll up. You pick up the victory. You know, AJ it, Styles came down and yeah. distracted Jericho by saying Y two getting a Y two jackass chance. Yeah, but you know what? Ryder wins with it's a win. It's a win. You know, 
<laughs> My boy I, Zack Ryder. I guess you can't bury him before the the money. Zack Ryder match. looking strong going into the ladder yeah, match at WrestleMania. Real strong, yeah. All right. <laughs> After the match, we had Chris Jericho accept the challenge from White uh, from AJ Styles after AJ antagonizing Jericho, basically to the point where he like basically accepted, and we all saw that coming. Yeah, like this match was gonna happen no matter how many times Jericho was a troll on Twitter, how many times he said no, it was gonna happen. Jericho um, calling people stupid idiots. Was- again, I still don't know. I don't have a good feel for this match. I did when they if I would if they didn't face each other three times already. I just. I mean, is there any doubt AJ Styles is going to win? Like, let's be real. Yeah, I, but I feel like this match needs a stipulation. Like, this could, this match could have used, like, an I quit stipulation. Yeah, because Jericho could have done his Fozzie yeah. thing after. Or this could have been the rubber match. They could have had them face each other twice, one victory each, and had this the rubber match. That would have been way better. That would have made this over the top. I don't understand why they need four matches. Yeah, I think they kind of, like, screwed up in the, the lead-up for this. Maybe because they are focusing too hard on everything else. They kind of forgot about this, so... But that's just my opinion. I'm hoping they'll still put up a good match. I mean, Jericho's kind of passing the torch on to AJ Styles, yeah, right? Yeah. So. In a way, it's like a passing of the torch. I see it. Um, yeah, I think WWE really screwed up in the the storyline. I, uh, I don't know what storyline was worse, <laughs> this or the Dolph Ziggler-Tyler Breeze. <laughs> yeah, where they screwed that up too, where they could have had a WrestleMania match this year. Yeah. But uh, how is Styles going to win at WrestleMania if he does win? Does he, you, does he bring out the Styles Clash? Oh, I mean, it's just... WrestleMania. It's a huge event. You, it's a, <laughs> Can he use it on Jericho? Is Jericho small enough for him to do Yeah, it? I think he could. He's done it on some people taller than him, uh, AJ Styles. Not, like, cleanly, but, like, it's he's done it before. So, I, it's a possibility. Or yeah. is he going to win with that... You don't re- like the phenomenal forearm? The non-exciting, dull, phenomenal forearm. We'll get that into our polls later. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as you can see there. Yeah. <laughs> on the other hand, though, I... Do you kind of see this match being somewhat good? Just the, the amount of talent both of these guys have and going on the big stage in the mall is going to be yeah. crazy. I feel like they're going to pull some stuff out that we didn't see in the first three matches, yep, probably. Yep, like, uh, like when Ke- like when Kevin Owens and John Cena faced each other uh, at the pay-per-views, they pulled off some stuff that were like, holy shit, like we didn't know any of these guys could do. Yeah. Like, stuff we haven't seen before. Yeah. So. Um, so, I, I mean, I'm looking forward to this match. I mean... Yeah. I think they fucked up, but I think it's, they, they're still going to make the most of it yeah. and make it. A but that was match. hilarious on Raw. Freaking yeah. AJ Styles just literally antagonizing the shit out of Y2 <laughs> Jack. Y2 Jack in the crowd that changed. And of yeah. course, the Goon Raw crowd on in Brooklyn is going to be insane about it. But yeah, and then Jericho was calling everyone stupid idiots. And AJ Styles in the crowd. Yep, you idiots. <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> but uh, we'll have to see about that match, and we'll talk more into it in our predictions video. Which, guys, by the way, is coming on Saturday. Saturday. So, our WrestleMania... Tune in for that WrestleMania predictions video. Yep. Moving on to the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle oh, yeah. Royal picture, which I'm super excited about, I oh, guess yeah. you can say. Why? Because that great match they had on Raw with uh, Big Show versus... Who the hell would you Was that even a match? It was like 20 seconds long before every single person from the Battle Royal came out and attacked oh, everybody. Man. I, I, kinda, I guess it lo- gives us a glimpse of who's going to be in it. And there were some people, we saw like all the social outcast members. We saw Damien Sandow, we haven't seen on TV in a long time. My boy time. Hall of Pain. We saw Hall of Pain, we saw Darren Young, <laughs> and basically like jobbers we haven't seen on TV in a while. So it was like, oh, it's K6. So you have. And the Wyatts. The four main big guys, and then all the jobbers. Okay, so we know who's going to be at the end. <laughs> There's going to be probably one big guy that's going to be eliminated at the beginning, and then all the jobbers will get eliminated until the end it's of the match. It's probably going to be, the final four is probably going to be Big Show, Kane, Mark Henry, and Braun Strowman. Yeah, four huge. <laughs> I mean, it's called the Andre the Giant Memorial, but not the Jobber Memorial Battle <laughs> Royal. You you need to have giants in this match. It's too bad they don't have more giants in WWE, because then you could just stick them all in this match. See why they didn't have more relevant wrestling when Cesaro won it the first year. Yeah. That was a good, yeah. pretty good roster. They Which had we'll there. get into in the news part about him involving the, okay. the more Battle Royal. Um, but yeah, th- I don't know what to think about this Battle Royal. Is it on the pre-show? Uh, no. It's not. So this is probably going to be something interesting. I'm guessing st- if this is leading for surprise entrance, I'm excited. Okay. I'm really excited. But where the hell was Braun Strowman in this whole brawl thing? <laughs> what the hell is he doing right now? I don't know. Maybe he's hoping... Why did he come out in like... Give a glimpse of what to expect. Maybe that's what maybe they're saving him. But if if he's supposed to be the projected rumored winner of this match, where the fuck was he? <laughs> he's in the, you can't even pick him as a favorite because he wasn't even there. I guess they're keeping him secret. Yep. <laughs> but it's not the yeah, it's not the kickoff show this year. Wow, I'm good. really I I ran, I remember ranting about that at, uh, in the WrestleMania 30 review 
when they thought it was going to be the pre-show. Oh, no, this was our prediction video for 31 last year. Mm -hmm. I gave a big rant about that, saying how why are they putting this prestigious match in the kickoff show? It didn't yeah. make any sense. Um, but they did kind of a good job in that show, or in that match. I mean, they could have had that match for the main card. I mean, uh, the whole th thing with Damien Sano at the end, people got really into that match, so... Whatever, they made it the kickoff show. But this year's not the kickoff matches. There's two other matches. Um, I really feel, though, like the excitement for this match is fading a little bit. It didn't seem like the crowd was really into this. No. Like, they're losing nostalgia for this. I mean, they're, they're paying tribute to the greatest giant in WWE history, and they're kind of just, like, losing excitement for it. But, I mean, what what else can you do? What, do they <laughs> right? big show win twice in a row? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Um, I feel like they should maybe add something to this. Like maybe whoever wins the Memorial Battle Royal gets a title. Shot gets a, yeah, gets a number one contenders match, or gets a number one contender opportunity at the title yeah. of any title he chooses, or maybe the main title. Make it the main title, and then you make it more exciting. I just yeah. If you're gonna keep the fans into it, so you gotta. It looks like they might have to add something to this. Yeah. So maybe not this year, but yeah, probably be next year. Add some kind of stipulation to this. <laughs> Only twenty people this year, man. This is just proof of the lack of rosters we have right now. Call up NXT guys. <laughs> exactly. Maybe we will. Who knows? Maybe they'll they'll change it up. There was, there was some surprise entrants. Yeah, like there was some like, Joe or something. Like Yoshi, Tatsu, and all these random ass people coming Baron in Mo randomly. I, I, I think it bring up some good people like Samoa Joe, Baron Corbin, um, Austin Aries, Shinsui Nakamura making making a WrestleMania appearance. I mean, they're really big on this guy. So who knows? Um, Auto Creed. All those yep. guys. So, who knows? But moving on, guys, to the Roman Reigns and Triple H. Oh, great. The most highly snooze anticipated fest? snooze fest of all time. I think I'd rather um, see the Big Show match. I'm going to start off by saying no matter what WWE does, it doesn't look like they're... It doesn't look like it's working trying to get Roman Reigns over. It's just terrible. They tried so hard. I mean, even Triple H was in the in the, in, the, in his in-ring segment. Was trying to put over Roman Reigns at some point, and the fans were just not buying it. They're like, "No, we hate Roman Reigns. Screw you, Triple H. No matter what you're gonna say, we're gonna boo the shit out of him." So <laughs> it, it sucks. I mean, to be honest, it's really I think it's kind of unfair for Roman because he's not forcing himself. It's Darby forcing him him through, down our him. throats. They're yeah. pushing him way too far. And, I mean, he wants to keep his job, so he's not gonna say, "No, don't push me," because then Darby's like, "All right, there's the door. See you later." Right. <laughs> he wants to provide for his family. He's got what two daughters. Yep. Like he, he's not going to say no. It, it well, sucks. But like, like all the people have been saying on like the websites and stuff, like he should have had a heel run first, yeah. and then people would have liked him better. And I think The Rock kind of they, he put something on his Instagram, and I think it was directed towards Roman Reigns as like advice. Because back when The Rock debuted, everyone hated The Rock. They booed the shit the out of Rocky his character. Mania. Yeah, he was supposed to be like this this baby face, and everyone hated it. And then uh, Vince came up to him one day and said, look, Rock, how do you feel about being heel? So Rock's like, yeah, I can do it. But Vince, let me say what I want to say on the mic and I'll do it for you. So maybe they need to give Roman that freedom on the mic. Because everything yeah. he says is scripted. He never reads his own stuff. And he just so, sounds so like robotic yeah. when he's talking. It's so maybe just... like Roman's got to take that advice. And maybe Vince got to wake up and like, look, you got to give Roman the Rock treatment because it's not working right now. You gotta make a, you gotta give him a heel run first. And you know it's bad when this hit the, the championship match is not going to be the main event at your own show, Vince. It's going to be the the co main event because of how predictable and how much people hate it. I mean, this look this is probably one of the most obvious matches in WrestleMania history. I'm telling you right now, I, it, it, Triple H is no not winning. Triple H doesn't want it to be the main event because he's it, like it's too predictable. Yeah, it, it's not even with the brawl last week. Or this week on Raw, in the last couple of weeks, you can't honestly think that Triple H is going to win. Is there going to be any stipulation or any guest referee or anything happening this Maybe match? we'll get something like in the middle of WrestleMania that they're going to add to it. Because other than that, this is really bad. Because what the fuck is The Rock doing? You might as well just open WrestleMania with this match. Right? Like, what, what is Rock doing? Is he going to come out in this match? I don't know. But you know what? They could open WrestleMania with this match. That way, it gets the crowd settled down for the rest of the matches. Or else... <laughs> There's going to be, like, buzzing after that. I don't think they've ever started with the main event. Yeah. Like, I mean, the title. The they did title start match. the World Heavyweight title at 28, remember, with, with Daniel Bryan and Sheamus. But, I mean, that was because the World title was irrelevant as shit, and it didn't matter anymore. <laughs> it was on SmackDown, of yeah. course. Just the build-up for this match was not properly done. No. I feel like it was really bad. And even Triple H, I mean, even when Triple H himself said that this should be the co-main they, event. They tried really hard and failed. <laughs> what if Triple H comes out with a victory here? And just gives everybody a huge swerve. Everyone's like, 
What? He, I, they just screwed Roman at WrestleMania? Again? And again, and Triple H is still champion? Oh, man. That'd some, be... some people are saying that he might hold on to it till Rollins comes back. I do kind of see that. But who fucking knows when that's going to be? I mean, that's what I mean. If you if you have Triple H win, if he does win, what does he do from now after? Like, to me, uh, was it Payback, the first... Uh, yeah pay-per-view after like, what does he do <laughs> maybe he faces Roman Roman wins it at payback because they know they don't want fans to get nuts and out of control at Wrestlemania they'll let it do it at payback they don't give a shit yeah um, so maybe they'll do it that way but if they if Triple H wins I wouldn't be surprised if they, they gave us a huge swerve so I'll be really surprised when it happens but I mean I won't be that surprised because I'm like okay it kind of makes sense they, they kind of had to do something I yeah. guess moving on oh I'm really excited for this match guys uh and just because of what happened on Raw this week, the New Day and the League of Nations. Oh, my God. Um, can I just say, if you're not looking for this match, then you must be booty. Yeah, You, you need to get you yourself get a box, box of bootios. Get the they make people. sure you ain't booty. <laughs> There's a yeah. nice little plug for you, uh, New Day. <laughs> League of Nations comes out with their new terrible shirts. Yeah, oh, my God. The, the shirts that came out with their new ones, everyone's got, like... The Celtic Warrior, yeah. the Bulgarian Brute, the Pride of Mexico. I'm like, oh my god, these shirts are so bad. The, the British Bull Hammer. Oh my <laughs> god. god, they're terrible. You won't get a, a Pride of Mexico no. shirt for Del Rio. It doesn't even have any Del Rio thing. Yeah, but it, it, it's, who else is wearing that shirt? It's only him. I'm not wearing a League of Nations <laughs> shirt. I'm sorry, it's not happening. Uh, this match is going to be awesome. If there's any indication from all the singles matches they've had for the last couple of weeks, and... It, it, what the, what's going on in Raw this week? It's it's going to be unreal. The real Kofi match was a really good match. Yeah, like that, that was really really good. I mean, Kofi and Kofi can sell probably. He's got a lot of high flying moves. Same with Del Rio. Del Rio's in the best shape he's ever been in. Yep. Like guys just ripped to shit, and yep. he can he can still perform unreal for his age. He's he he wrestles out there. Del Rio, I want to point this out. If you watch him in the ring, he literally wrestles like he's like twenty years younger. It's nuts, and that's yeah. great. He looks that's better than he fantastic. did in 2011, to be honest with you. Yeah, because usually wrestlers you start to deteriorate by the time they reach 40, and there's like they they become part timers. But Del Rio can still go. Maybe that year off was good for him. I don't know. Yeah, may go down. Yeah, he went back to uh, Lucha Underground, kind of yeah. like revamped himself, refreshed himself, and now and, look at him. And he dominated this whole match, and then Kofi won with the fucking roll up. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't understand that. Um, I thought they were going to le- have the League of Nations. How are you supposed to make League of Nations look strong going into this match? Is it even for the titles, by the way? It's still... I have not read it. They've been searching for the last couple of days to see if this is for the titles, and there's no announcement that it's for the maybe titles. Maybe they're going to announce it at... like Maybe they're going to have like a backstage segment at WrestleMania and say, fine, we'll yeah. put the titles on the line. But there is something that... There's rumbling backstage reports that there's something huge planned for the New Day, but it's not being said what. It might be an entrance. Like I've read on Twitter that people are... Saying that there, if you guys remember from Super Bowl a couple of years ago, uh, Katy Perry's halftime show and she came out in that massive lion. It's sort of the same thing like that. They're planning for the new day. That'd be so maybe they come out in like a giant unicorn. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Maybe not as big, but like you know, small enough that it looks big. So that could that's possibility. It could be a new day entrance. I see them coming out like insane. They're, they're gonna entrance. have some kind of entrance. Yeah, I think the League of Nations are gonna have a crazy entrance too, dealing with like each nation. That they come from. There's already something crazy with their entrance. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm excited for this match. And, it's gonna be uh, a good match. I just good for the good for the roll up victory, I guess, for Kofi. So but then who's the, wrestling in this match? I think it's gonna be four on three. It's a handicap match. Okay. So but the best part of this whole thing that happened on Raw was when New Day were on the stage. Because who comes out? From behind them, the coach. The coach, the coach returns the money. No entrance raw. music. No entrance music. We were expecting. I know you were pissed about that. That no entrance music. No entrance music for coach. But the coach came oh, back. I was, I was insane, and I loved the crowd reaction. was Was good. Everyone remembers the coach. I loved how the crowd reacted because I was afraid they're gonna be just gonna be silent. People yeah. like who? <laughs> yeah. But no, the Brooklyn crowd unreal. They, everyone remembered the coach. They gave him a nice ovation. Fucking coach. And usually the coach is healed, but this yeah. was awesome. He, he comes out with the box of bootios and saying the League of Nations should be eating it and does his little uh, dance with the new dad. I don't even know what to call that dancing. He just yeah. like crossed his legs. His booty. I don't know. <laughs> Coach, like, man, you gotta work on your dance moves. Yeah, maybe you should learn from Nate, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Coach also announced that the first time ever ESPN Sports Center will be covering WrestleMania all day long. That'd be cool. That's really cool. That's huge for ESPN Sports Center. They've never done that with wrestling before. Yeah. So. And I'm guessing um, the coach is going to be honest. I'm going to be watching it like crazy. Yeah, good for coach, man. Yep. 
Uh, did you forget about the trombone segment? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the one part of the match where Del Rio rolls out of the ring and Xavier Woods is there and he's playing the mariachi song, <laughs> the Mexican mariachi <laughs> song. <laughs> and the fucking trombone. And then, uh, while that's a distracting, Co- or, uh, Alberto Kofi comes in with a dive. But that was just priceless. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't believe they did that. It was Del Rio's face. Yeah, like... he's so mad. <laughs> that was great. That was probably that made the segment. That just made the entire thing. That and the coach coming back, obviously. Yeah. The coach needs to come back though. He needs to come back. <laughs> coach needs to do something. Yeah. Moving on, guys, to the Dean Ambrose and Brock Lesnar saga. Oh my God. Um, um. I unfortunately missed this segment. But. Yeah. So our prediction though about Raven shopping cart sort of came true in a way, but, but it, it wasn't, wasn't the a Raven shopping, shopping cart. cart. It was a red wagon. <laughs> It's a wooden red wagon with the Dean Ambrose logo spray painted on the sides. <laughs> I mean, you had Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar come to the ring. You know, they Paul Heyman shooting like pro man. This guy's so good at promos, man. I can't. Every promo Paul Heyman's had is just unreal. Guy's a genius on the mic. Did he say Ambrose ass belongs to Brock? No, that would have been great. Um, but this guy's best in the world on the mic. By far. And Ambrose came out with the red wagon, and he's just walking around the ring, just collecting weapons from under the ring. Like, why didn't Lesnar jump out of the ring and go attack him? Why, yeah, why would he not attack him? He's just him? looking at him, and I'm like, what the, what is this? What is- he, he goes around, he gets all his, he, the, 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 the Legends items that he got from the, the ECW Legends, and he gets some more weapons in there, and just leaves. Like, wait, what? Why didn't you have, like, an attack or something? Him, <laughs> Ambrose just grabbed the, the, the kendo stick, say, fuck it, I'm gonna go in the ring, beat the crap out of Lesnar. No. They didn't beat the crap out of each other. The ring. You're having a hardcore match. <laughs> Why are you not beating the crap out of each other? And I'm going to say weapons, okay? The politically correct term, as Paul Heyman said in his promo, because everybody doesn't like to use the word weapons, but I love how Paul Heyman corrected himself. I was like, weapons, the politically correct term weapons. I love that. Paul <laughs> Heyman's such a genius. Yeah, like Dean Ambrose is actually going to turn on the fucking chainsaw. Yeah, like, thank you, brutal. Paul. Yeah, like the chainsaw is going to actually be used, <laughs> right? <laughs> But it just, after they didn't do anything, it just not, I'm like, well, this promo was unnecessary and just awkward. Like, they, they, it would why? Them not to do anything than this. Like, Brock should have attacked Lesnar. One of them should have attacked each other at least to end in like a brawl, brawl, you know. I mean, you're having a no-holds-barred, I mean, hardcore match And they should, have, they should have had a, some kind of weapon be used, right? Yeah. Um... I'm reading a lot of the comments and reports about this match, and a lot of people don't like it or don't want to see it. And I'm like, what is wrong with you people? What else are you going to do with these two guys? Plus, these guys have the possibility of making an unreal hardcore match. Yeah. And this has the the possibilities of being insane. I, just, I think it's going to go over all over the arena, to be honest with you. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. I'm just, I'm just sneezing in anticipation for this match. I think it's going to um, be a good match. I'm looking forward to it. I'm actually really excited to see it and see what they can pull off around. They're both nuts. Around, They're yeah. both like brawlers, right? So. Yeah. This, like this is going to be. This will be huge for Ambrose if he can beat Brock Lesnar. Like, I don't even think he has massive. to win to look good as long as he puts up a good showing and like Lesnar's yeah. like bleeding everywhere yeah. and gets the win. <laughs> but, but if Brock loses, oof. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't That's think a... Brock will lose, but I think they'll make Ambrose like, yeah. look like he may be able to beat Oh, there's going to be blood. Yeah. 100% going to be blood. That's Thank why I'm God. excited. That's why I didn't understand why people were not excited for this match. Like, so there's going to be no Byron Saxon passing anybody, no blood packets, yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Um, <laughs> moving on, I mean, this is the pre-show match, but I'm only excited to see my girl Paige, but I, I don't understand what on happened on Raw. Match. Oh, we my had, God. We so the match was announced on Raw that it's going to be a 10-woman Divas match or ten, I guess or ten Divas match. We got some news about that in the new segment. Um, it's gonna be to- Team Total Divas versus Team Bad and Blonde. Ugh. Oh yeah, and Summer Ray and Lana are, are like friends. Why am I not surprised that it's named that? Oh my god, a good thing it's a kickoff match. I had a lot of rant about on Sunday. Naomi um, and Tamina. And- so they have Team Total Divas, which is Paige, Natalia, Brie, Alicia Fox, and now the Eva returning- Marie. The returning Eva Marie who got booed profusely. This is terrible. <laughs> Out of everybody, you bring Eva Marie back. Oh, man. The crowd was just losing their minds. Not in a good way. And even Team Told Eva was like, why the hell are you back? Like, we don't want you. Maybe it's a swerve. I, uh, one buddy of mine, former co-host, no cell Phil, told me that watch them swerve. 
And as they all come out to the ring for the WrestleMania match, they kick the shit out of Ian Marie. Team Totally is kicked the shit out of their own partner, and they bring out Bailey. Huh. That'd be insane. I mean, I, I just want Eva Marie gone. I don't ever want to see her no, again. She's a cancer just, to the Divas division. Ugh, I can't terrible. believe it. But then you have Team Bad. It's called Team Bad and Blonde. Ugh. And Naomi, Tamina, Lana, Summer Rae, and Emma, for some reason, that's back. Um, I don't know if this is her return to the main roster. Maybe it is. After, we'll go through it in the uh, W new, News segment. Um, but Emma, getting another main roster shot, maybe? Good. Good. She's, I mean, good for her. She's worked hard down in NXT, yeah. so... Um, I mean, she gets to get added to this hot garbage of a mess, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, team, what is it? Blonde, bad team, and blonde? Team bad and blonde versus oh team totally. This God. is going backwards in the to- in the Divas Revolution. I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> I, thought we were aw- I thought we were getting away from this crap. I thought that's what the Divas Revolution was. This is like 2010 Kelly Kelly bullshit right now, yeah. man. This is terrible. Well, thank God it's the pre-show. We don't need to take care of it. We don't need to talk about it anymore, Except so let's just move Paige. on. Hopefully Paige gets the win in this match. Yeah. To the IC title picture we go, the seven-man ladder match. Um, ugh, man. <laughs> but before we go into the IC title match on Sunday at WrestleMania, we have this horrendous tag team match on Raw. <laughs> Miz, Stardust, and Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn, Sin Cara, and Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> Yay! What a match this was. I mean, we even had Corporate Cappy over here tweeting out before this saying, over or under... On if Kevin Owens would leave his team during the match. <laughs> Over under five minutes. And in a hilarious turn of events, we have not Owens leaving, but Stardust and Miz leaving on his on Kevin <laughs> Owens. And it, it led up leading to Sami Zayn pinning Kevin Owens. Oh, man, that, that's hilarious. Um, I still think, though, this match is going to be really good on Sunday. That Can't really so. talk about what happened on Raw, because that was just <laughs> god-awful. <laughs> the lead-up matches have been brutal, but... Like, everyone was saying that they expect Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens down the road, but they said that this was a good way, this was a good WrestleMania match. They yeah. can, they can have, they're going to have their singles match eventually, it's going to happen. Yeah. But right now, I think this is a good match. But, you want, I'm going to point out one thing here. I don't want to talk they, about Zack Ryder. Who they kept out of this match, and who's yeah, the... because he had to He's the underdog, he's the, the under-the-radar superstar. Oh, Zack Ryder is winning the IC the title. The only reason he's in it is because Neville got hurt. <laughs> the only reason he's Maybe in that it. was Sin Cara's spot. A botch car? Why yeah. not? Fuck. So I'm telling you right now, yeah. Zack Ryder, you hear it from me right here. We'll, we're going to go back to this in our WrestleMania review. Zack Ryder is winning the yeah. IC Championship. That's how relevant he was. Still, he wasn't, he wasn't even still involved in this fucking I, I will rise above the hate for Zack Ryder, and I'm saying Zack Ryder. I love him, Michael. Uh, Zack Ryder. When we, when we have next week's show, you can say, you can apologize. I will. If You know what? If you lose, I will apologize. I'll, I'll come out. Uh. I'll come out and just say I apologize to everybody. Um, next. Next, but... Moving on, guys, to the second part of the show, the WWE Polls. I'm just going to say that, that because, you know, we can't find a name for this show. Luke Gallows Polls. Man. The Lu- <laughs> you know what? We might even call it that from now on. We'll see we next week. Else. In the Luke Gallows Polls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I can't, <laughs> I can't bring myself to call it the Luke Gallows Polls, though. <laughs> as much as you can, I can't. I. Pfft. It's a good finisher. Good yeah. finisher. But uh, we'll get into it, guys. And we'll start off with the first poll. Does Shane McMahon still got it? And this re- received a total of twelve votes wow. this week. Yes, with eighty-three percent, and no, with seventeen percent. Um, why would you why say would no, you say guys? No, yeah. After that leap of faith, you think he still doesn't have it? Did you the, see the the last month? He has gotten into really good shape. Exactly, he's been training insanely with Gracie Ju- with Gracie from Gracie Jiu Jitsu, like insane. And he's been just man. His training videos have been incredible. Like, how do you stay? You don't have it. He's got it. He's got it. Yes, one hundred percent. Uh, next, we got who sweats more, Shane McMahon or Brock Lesnar? Oh, God. I think I brought this up last week at some yeah, point. Yeah, and that's why I made the poll yep. for it. <laughs> and uh, Shane won with 60, 40 percent votes. God. 60 to 40. That's a tough one. That's so know. tough. I Brock Lesnar gets more red. I know that. Yeah, like Lesnar, like, they both, like, within that segment with Shane McMahon, he was sweating within the first two minutes. Brock does the same thing. It's like, it, you gotta, like, time it. We gotta, like, put play a Shane, that Shane McMahon segment and a Brock Lesnar match at the same time. Have timers next to them and see who sweats first. Like the I most, know. I think Brock doing his little like jump back and forth, he gets a sweat. Going yeah, I think so. he already sweats with the pyro next to him yeah. going off. But uh, moving on to the next poll, guys. 
Does AJ Styles win at WrestleMania with the Styles Clash or the Phenomenal Forearm? This received a total of 14 votes. Um, the Styles Clash won 93% to 7. I think this is what people want to see rather yeah. than what's actually going to happen, though. Let's be real. I really hope the Styles Clash does. I want to see a clash. At least, even if Chris Jericho kicks out of it, which would be incredible, um, I at least want to see a Styles Clash at WrestleMania. Just one. Doesn't matter if he wins or loses it with it. Uh... Just one. You might as well do the fourth one, too. Okay, I'll do the next poll, guys. Same kind of deal. Should Y2J and AJ Styles have an I Quit match at WrestleMania? And it received a total of 12 votes, and it was down the middle, tied at 50% for yes wow. and no. You guys are just... Interesting. It's interesting as drawn, because, you know, you, you if it would make sense if you have the I Quit match, because then you can have Jericho go back to uh, Fozzie and do his concert tours. Yep. Or then you could say, no, maybe Jericho could stay and they could have another feud with someone. There, there should have been some kind of stipulation in this match. Whatever it was, yeah. it should have been something. I think that's maybe the people that said no out there were thinking too. Like maybe a different kind of stipulation. Yep. Yeah. Moving on, I wanted I wanted this fifth one. That's why I won my the <laughs> Jericho one. Because which diva looks strongest going into the triple threat match at WrestleMania? 25% for Charlotte, 25% for Becky, and 50% for Sasha, of course. Yeah, I mean, There's only four votes, but... Still, I mean, come Sasha on. gets I the mean, most of them. Right? Have you seen her workout video, or her, not not just her workout video, her her video about the WrestleMania diary she wrote as a kid? Yep. Like, that's just insane. Like, she grew up watching wrestling religiously. Like, this is her dream. She's she's going to be living her dream on Sunday. Yep. Like, there's no other place that she'd rather be on Sunday. And that's why she's the real deal of women's wrestling, <laughs> and she's going to win the title. This is interesting. And I'm going to um, go fucking ballistic. I was talking to one of our buddies uh, the other yesterday, and he thinks Charlotte. Because see, he, d- he doesn't see, doesn't see um, Charlotte losing the title that easily because she's Ric Flair's daughter at WrestleMania. And they just kind of still want to make her look strong. I, c- I could see that. Maybe maybe, they're, maybe they'll have Sasha win it in a one-on-one match. Yeah. Maybe Charlotte will pin Becky in this one. Yeah. And then Charlotte, as much as I don't want to see that, I could see it happening just so... Yeah. Nate can go out to his little fucking yeah, dance. Yeah, slap both shoulders. Woo, woo. Maybe, maybe he'll have a new dance for us. Maybe he'll break out a new <laughs> A WrestleMania dance. dance. All maybe right. he'll slap... The, I don't know. <laughs> his knees. Yeah, I, I don't know. But <laughs> Do some shucking and jiving. But the fact that the Divas are on... that like This is the one of the matches that everyone's looking forward to. That's a good sign. Yeah. And the fact that they're on like the main... Yeah. Um, poster. Yeah, on for the WrestleMania. Yep. Which is incredible. Yep. Good turn in the Divas division. Um... Next poll. Oh, your boy. Will, <laughs> uh, I can't read it. Uh, Want me to read it? Will Big Show become a two-time Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal winner? Four votes. And I love the votes, though. No wins. It's at 75%. No, just retire already. Or <laughs> people voted yes for something. I only got 25. Yes, show big strength. I'm not going to lie. It was that one person that voted for yes. Oh, big my strength. God. No. Just retire already, Big Show, man. <laughs> Well, well, what if he was still corporate show? You picked him last year. Yeah, I know, because uh, I might even pick him this year. We'll see. <laughs> <sighs> Next, we got the shot in the dark. Does anyone want Roman Reigns to win at WrestleMania? Uh, this was a total of 12 votes, and it was split down the middle. I don't know how. Believe that, or no, bring out the shovel. <laughs> Guys, the shovel's coming out. <laughs> I hope the All right, the you know what? Believe out. that. I, I'm split between this. I actually, I think I voted and I put bring out the shovel. <laughs> uh, Guys, you really... Uh, why, I, I, why do you want Roman Reigns? Did the kids vote on this? I think the kids voted for the yes. Why are they on Twitter? Parents, get your kids off of Twitter. Yeah, what are you doing on Twitter that late at night, man? Get in study or something. I don't know. Stay in school. Do your homework. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. New Day rocks. Or New Day Sucks. Thank this received God. a total of 20 votes this week. I'm, I'm liking the results of this. The results, New Day Rocks with 85% and New Day Sucks with 15. The people that said suck, well, go suck get yourself that. a box of bootios. They make yeah. sure you New ain't New booty. booty. We're keeping giving good plugs for New Day, or for yeah. New Day there. <laughs> Man, oh, God. God. Oh, yeah. Number nine. Who else wants to coach back in WWE? Yes, one with 79% of the votes. And this had 19 votes for this You poll. guys love the coach. Look how many votes we got for the coach. Hey, it was like my, my sign that we brought to Buffalo. We want coach. Remember yep, that sign yep. I made? Yep. I, I, why wouldn't you want to see coach back? Come on, exactly. coach is great. 
Especially if him and Rock have a segment at some oh, point. Oh, man. I, I hope that happens. I really hope that happens. They're just like some kind of where they meet up and then Rock just... Like, yeah, you people out there want to see it back. You voted yes with 79%. And going yeah. to something that we don't want to see. Oh. Would you rather see Kalisto versus Ryback? Okay. Or Ryback versus Goldberg <laughs> at WrestleMania? This received a total of 13 votes. 85% won with Ryback versus Goldberg. Yes. For you people, the 15% that voted no, you want to see Kalisto and Ryback, why the hell do you want to see that match? What is wrong I, with I you? I feel bad for Kalisto because he he deserves a better match than this. Yeah, you know, I feel bad for him too, but come on. Why do you guys want to see this? I, oh. I, I love that people are giving love to Goldberg out there. See the total of 13 votes. Is Ryback? Oh, I, don't, I, don't even want, I don't even want to think about <laughs> Ryback as a title. But. Moving on, I'm going to love this. You're going to love reading this question. <laughs> <laughs> What's better, Dean Amber's wag- wagon or the Raven shopping cart? Five votes and I was hoping 60% to get for the wagon. Come yeah, on now. that's the disappointing. I was hoping this received a lot more votes. Maybe but people didn't know what the Raven shopping yeah, cart These was. are probably all the kids are like, who is Raven? Go back and watch. You got the network. God. I mean, we don't have on demand yet, yeah. but... But wagon got 60% and shopping cart got 40. That's bullshit. So people, but some people like remember the shopping cart. I love it. Maybe Triple H's shovel destroyed the shopping cart. You know? <laughs> well, you know, we'll see. Moving on, total te- team Total Divas with my girl Paige. I'm seeing she's the honorary team captain. I think she is. Because this um, is my house. Because this is her house. Yeah. Or team Bad and Blonde. And <clears throat> received a total of four votes. Team Total Divas wins 75% to 25%. Only four votes. Only four votes. Because no one gives a fuck about this match, unfortunately. Exactly. <laughs> Moving on to the last poll. <laughs> Does anyone actually like Eva Marie? 14, 14 votes. votes. Are you serious? Uh, yes. Hashtag red, <laughs> redheads do it better. Or no, get the fuck out. When no, get the fuck out. Got 79% of the votes. <laughs> you people are smart there, but you know what? I bet you that 21% for yes, they are all redheads. No, they voted for Sasha because she's a redhead. Ah, that's why. Not even Marie's fucking red hair. Fuck <laughs> Oh man, what's wrong with Mike? No, you know I can't even oh, say that. Come on, even I would usually no. be a goon at this point and say, "What's wrong with my girl, Eva Marie?" Okay, no, um, don't put my girl and Eva Marie in the same sentence. And we don't—we she doesn't even deserve any more of our time talking about her. Let's move on. <laughs> Redheads do it better, I guess. Yeah. Um, but anyways, guys, moving into our last part of the show, WWE news. Um, the Divas division is getting a major overhaul. I just read this today, and um, oh my god, guys. Uh, the Divas division is getting a major... And this is what the, the first part is. The Divas title, after WrestleMania, is done. Yeah? It's done. I forgot to tell you about this. I meant For to real? fill you in before the show, Brandon. Um, it's done. It's, it's going to be the women's title. They're bringing back the women's championship. Yes. But it's going to look similar to the world title. They're going to make it look si- kind of in the same sort of way, but it's going to be so, called the women's title so it's again. it's not going to be like the women's title that Trish and no, no, that. no, no, no. It's going to be more like kind of guess the corporate sleek look at the world title. I mean, I love the new world title. I love it. So if the de- women's title is going to look somewhere, somewhere like that, I love it. But I it's going to be called the women's championship. Yes! I love that. I may have to buy that. Yeah, they're getting rid of the, the word divas. Um, out of there and apparently the whole product of the Divas division is getting a massive overhaul after WrestleMania thank god too. so maybe, maybe people are getting called up maybe Bailey gets called yep. up so it's going to be interesting to see what happens after Wrestlemania so does that mean they get more than five minutes on TV then I hope so I hope that's what this overhaul means but there's a lot of lot of big things going to be happening in the, the, the women's division what I want to call it now the I'm, women's division that's- that's the part I look forward yeah. to every week right now is the women's division. Moving on to the next part of news, Cena's return. It is being said his in-ring return is now in the near future as instead of July. Oh it's also being said that he might have some physical type role at WrestleMania and we'll have to see. It is not, nothing's 100% sure, but it, he will be making a WrestleMania appearance in some way. But it's, it makes sense because Cena has been known in the past to recover Never from injuries really, really oh, fast. Yeah. He's Superman when it comes to injuries. It's insane. But yeah, never give up out there, Cena fans. Really Come back. Fantastic. Next bit of news is how to deal with Cesaro in the Battle Royal. As I mentioned earlier, speaking of injuries, Cesaro is being discussed about being in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle wow. Royal this year. Apparently, he was he is scheduled for his in-ring return for post-WrestleMania European Tour. And there's talks that saying his injury has caught is doing way better and he might even be in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle He's Royal. He's stretching it. I don't want him to get hurt. Yeah. But... It, it, that's gonna be crazy if he's in there. I, I love it. I love it. Um, 
Going on, another bit of news, guys. Possibly more Hall of Fame inductees. Apparently, a Hall of Fame shirt was released. A picture of it on the back of the shirt it has all the list of the Hall of Fame names. And at the bottom of the shirt, it says Legacy Award. And in that section, there are several legends stretched out at the bottom. There's Lou Fez, Frank Gotch, Art Thomas, George Hakenschmidt, Mildred Burke, and Pat O'Connor. So I'm guessing this means that we just forget about the Legacy Award Steph got, and this is what it's going to be known as. They're going to add people to this Legacy Award. Who, uh, it says that it has to deal with the legacy of the WWE and how it's come in. Basically, the superstars that help it be the WWE well, today. How the fuck is Luthez not in the Hall of Fame? I don't know. But now he's going to be in the Hall of Fame somehow with uh, these Legacy Awards. So I'm guessing this is, it's being said this is probably going to be a new award uh, added to, Russell, uh, to uh, the Hall of Fame before WrestleMania. So, speaking of WrestleMania, guys, a small leak picture, a couple of them actually, of the WrestleMania set. As you can see right here in the video, I'm showing it right now. We can't see it, obviously, because we're recording the podcast. But this is the, the set. Um, it looks like there's a giant star with the WrestleMania logo in it. I guess there's, it's going to be generic every year. There's going to have the WrestleMania logo stretched out really big. So, whatever. Um, NXT TakeOver Dallas is tomorrow night, guys, too. I'm really looking forward to that. It looks really good. The, the card itself is just insane. Finn Balor, Samoa Joe. Bailey, Oscar, Sami Zayn, Nakamura, Baron Corbin, Aries, Apollo Cruz, Elias Samson, and the revival of Dash and Dawson versus American Alpha, jo- Jason Jordan, and Wait, Chad Gable. Wait, what the Big Cass? Uh, apparently, they're not on the card. Wow, it's, it's insane. Maybe they maybe they'll add in a, a, an intro match. Who knows? Um, but uh, the WrestleMania access also starts today, guys. So if you're over there at WrestleMania, good luck and have fun. Fucking um, can't wait. For that. <laughs> Tune in Saturday, guys, too, to our YouTube channel for our WrestleMania podcast, uh, which basically will be our predictions podcast. Some corporate predictions yeah, going away. Uh, WrestleMania, and tune in also on Monday for our review of WrestleMania. And, and yeah, the the review for WrestleMania. I was going to say the Lowdown Show, but that's on tonight, like Thursday nights. <laughs> but, Thursday. Yeah. But that's going to do it, guys, for this week's show, ladies and gentlemen. Huge day on Sunday. I'm looking forward to it. WrestleMania. Yep. It's, it's crazy. It's around the this corner the now. Bad, the best week of the year. Yep. So. Um, so thank you for tuning into the Lowdown Show, your favorite Thursday night WWE podcast where we review and discuss Raw and SmackDown from the week and any important news in the WWE. If you like this episode, hit that like button as well as subscribe to us on the YouTube channel as well as go over to Facebook and give us a like on there. And follow us at Twitter. All the links will be in the description below. And again, if you'd like to join in on the conversation and share your thoughts, questions, or comments, Tweet us, Noel's Bar WP, and use the hashtag The Lowdown Show or leave it in the comment section in the YouTube video. Um, until next time, guys, I'm your self proclaimed greatest host, Kyle Masters. I continue to be joined by my co host, The Boss, mm. Mr. Corporate himself. I wish I was the boss. <laughs> Corporate Cappy. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And as always, we're here reminding you to keep it on The Lowdown. You're looking at the real deal now. Kick this sorry ass out on the street. <laughs>